I really knew I always wanted to be a police officer. Um, it just took a while to get hired. I knew they were having a big push down here for the Olympics and they were hiring a lot of people, so I came down here to Atlanta. Um, I guess I get a little insulted sometimes when people say, you know, you, you got an economics degree from Notre Dame, you know, why are you a police officer? Why aren't you on Wall Street making money and doing everything else? You know, I, I'm doing what I like to do. I enjoy it. Um, I'm helping a lot of people, and that's, that's what really makes me happy is helping other people. I don't get a whole lot of thrills out of making money for other people. Uh, I guess that's why I'm not on Wall Street, per se, using my economics degree. But, um, you know, I'm using all my knowledge out here, all my skills, and this is a real tough job, and I, it's real challenging, and it's real challenging to me. And um, like I said, you know, if I can help anybody anytime, um, that's, that's a thrill to me, and that's what I really enjoy about the job. We got a abandoned car up here. It looks like a white Ford Mustang. They drop a lot of stolen cars off this area. We're going to check it out real quick. Uh, he's in the, there's somebody in the pass, or driver's seat. Uh oh. 303 to radio, 4 code 3, fire rescue. Looks like I got 150 in the head. Okay. Damn. 303 radio, go ahead and start homicide, start ID. Watch this one, watch this one, watch this one. Keep going, partner, keep going. Let's see if I can get a pulse on him. I don't think I'll get a pulse on him at all. We came down to this location. This is where they drop a lot of stolen vehicles. We pulled up, we saw this vehicle. I didn't think anybody would be in it. He looks like he's been shot in the head. I don't know whether he drove here or whether he was dumped here. He's on now. I'm going to try for a pulse. He doesn't have anything. He's, he's gone. You can tell he's not breathing. He's, I don't know how long he's been here, but uh, he doesn't have any life left in him. Homicide's en route. Ambulance is en route, just to pronounce the body. but. We haven't looked in the car for any other weapons or any drugs or anything. We're going to let Homicide take care of that. We rolled up. We didn't think anybody was in it. And uh, man, as soon as I get up to the passenger side, he's just sitting there. He's dead. Okay. Looks like he's been 50 in the head. So. Oh, man. Homicide. If you guys want to, if you guys want to, you might want to go on the other side. we got a lot of traffic through here. I don't know if everybody, they're... Everybody's trying to keep well, turn around? Yeah. So, you know, they may be trying to dump more down here. But we're going to rope off the area. We know there's going to be a crime scene in the vehicle. But we don't know if there's going to be any more out here in the street. Any shell casings or uh, we can get tire tracks. It's so wet out here. But we're going to try to get as big of an area as possible, rope it off, and hopefully Homicide can get a clue of what happened. We're going to try to get the other side. Two sides ought to be good. You going to go under it? Yeah. Yep. Is he hit on the driver's side or passenger side of his head? Looks like the driver's side came out the passenger side. They might have some, some of the crime scene up there. Yeah, it looks like... um. What happened, maybe, who knows, but um, he might have come up here, saw something, and since his foot is still on the gas, he might have thrown it in reverse, tried to get out, and they got him or something. They come down here, you know, a lot of people drop off stolen cars, strip them down here, as you can see, some of the tires and all the junk are laying around here, so as we were coming up, you know, we saw the car, but then we saw the headlights. And as we got closer, we could see a body in the driver's side. At first, I thought maybe he might have been a drunk driver, just fell down and um, or just ran off the road or something like that because he was just kind of leaning over to the side like he was passed out or something. Then we got up to it, and um, we saw all the, the blood and stuff. There's going to be two, two nine millimeters in the floorboard. Look right there on the floorboard. And the car is in reverse. Yeah, we've got the shell casings right there. And I see. I'm going to see two. Of course, I'm It was inside, or he leaned inside. Or somebody opened the door since the door's open. It was open. closed because. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because look at the blood splatter on the. All on the door. So that door was shut. Well, as soon as we got here, we saw that the individual had been shot in the head. I immediately started an ambulance. We're just going to verify that. Um, the victim is 
deceased. But uh, when you came up, did you see the shell casings on the floorboard? Uh, I thought there were shell places on the floorboard. There was so much brain matter all over the car, it's kind of hard to tell what was what. So it looks like he was up here, threw in reverse when he saw what was going to happen to him, and he didn't back up in time. Yeah, the door couldn't have been open too far because of the spray on the side of the passenger door, too. So. Yeah, he's got an entry wound in one side of the head and exit wound in the other. Now, we've done about as much as we can do here. Uh, homicide's taken over. Medical examiner's coming in to remove the body, and uh, we're gonna go down and make a statement, pull into service, and uh, see what else we can get into. So much for a slow, rainy night.